Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. So welcome to Unbox with Bruce and today we will be unboxing this item right here. So it's the Funko Pop Red Hood from Batman. Now normally it would say it in words but um, for this particular pop it's just like the Batman symbol and it's awesome. So um, before we go ahead and remove the item or like take the item out of the box, let's check out the box first. So um, in the front, like a normal Funko Pop, we have like a nice window here where we can see the item that we're getting. And then um, a nice artwork here on the side, which represents the uh, item that we're getting. So normally that's the case, but sometimes um, the artwork is different from the figure, especially for the special pops. But in this case, that's not the case in this particular pop. Anyway, so we have like a sticker as well. It says uh, special edition. Now I've seen pops, um, like Red Hood pops that has like a different sticker as well, but I think they're like on a much more expensive or they're they're a bit more expensive compared to this one so i don't know it's probably because of the sticker i'm not sure if it's because of the pop but if you know just put it or let me know in the comments below anyway so um on the left hand side we have like another art alert like the full um body of the character which is very as you can see here it's very nice and then the name of the character red hood the number dc logo and then the pop logo and on the back um you only have like red hood here and then um, DC superheroes. Normally, um, actually, this is normally what's put here on the the front part. DC superhero. It's like DC superhero character. But um, in this case, we just have like this big um, Batman logo, and we don't have any other characters in this particular um, series or line. So that's probably what makes it unique. Anyway, so um, we have like the pop logo, the number, and then some text. And then um, on the uh, right hand side, another window, but in this case, um, the view that we're getting is an awesome side view of Red Hood. And then we have like the name of the character again, Red Hood, um, Pop, DC, the number, and then Red Hood there, try to peep out. And I have like a small dent here at the top. Um, by the way, before I forget, um, shout out to the seller. Uh, he was like kind enough to let me know that there is or what to expect with the box. So I said it's okay. I'm not really like the type of person who's like really uh, meticulous with the box because normally I just unbox my item. So um, anyway, so for the top, um, we have like uh, Red Hood peeping out, the pop logo, the DC logo, and then the Funko logo, and at the bottom some blurb stuff. So let's go ahead and open the item. So normally if you have like a perfect um, box pop and you want to like preserve its um, state or perfection um, I would suggest that you use a card method so what you do is you insert like a card so in this case I'm using like a tag from a clothes and then you insert it on the side uh, make sure that you go all the way to the bottom and then you twist so um, this makes sure that you're not going to um, tear this section right here because normally this would tear out it or like in some cases not normally in some cases this would tear out if you force it and you might also warp the bottom part or whichever part you're opening it from so we don't want that to happen all right so now let's take red hood out of the box all right So I'll put the box aside for now. And for the clamshell, yeah, it's just the right fit. It's not too loose, it's not too tight. So that's super fine. So here is Red Hood in all of its like coolness. I really dig this design. Now um, for the armor key or like this chest area and the pants, um, somehow it's like glossy. I, I, I don't know if that's like how it's supposed to be but um, normally I prefer like the uh, matte design for uh, especially for for characters because that would help them blend more in the dark I guess um, now for the head we have like a very very nice sculpt and it even includes the scratches and I think this is pretty similar to um, the uh, Red Hood versus Deathstroke Funko that they released um, a few months ago so um, 
if you want to see that particular figure or that review um, you can go through like my channel list or um, if not I can put it on or a link to the or in the description below as well so um, yeah we have like a very nice touch here on the helmet so we have like a lot of scratches there nice all right now for the eyes, um, just as a disclaimer, um, like what we normally say here in our channel, um, there's no such thing as a perfect pop, so you might notice some like misfades here and there, some imperfections here and there, and um, well, if you put it on, well, on the bright side, that makes your pop unique. So no, there's no such, there wouldn't be like um, two pops that it would be exactly the same, so that makes your pop unique. Um, so let's take a closer look and let's see if I can find those imperfections. Alright, so on the eyes here, on the um, right, oh, let's see. Yeah, that's supposed to be his left eye. So in the left eye, um, you have like some paint leads right there, but on the right one, it's perfectly painted. For the reds, um, you don't see anything much, any excess bleeds at all. Now the way they painted the helmet, this this is a nice touch where it's black at the bottom. And for his jacket, we don't see any like obviously. So except for that one, it's like the black um, spilled out to his jacket. But overall, it's not that messy compared to like other pops that we have reviewed before. So now let's see if he can do the Emily Rose trick. So yes, he can without any hindrance. So you can like rotate his head all around. Yeah. So finally, just for some very quick size comparisons, uh, here is next to a uh, Thomas Wayne Batman. I uh, really like the Flashpoint Batman and he's pretty much the same height although he's like a bit taller just a tiny little bit taller and then uh, here he is next to uh, Funko All Might as you can see both of them are dwarfed by All Might because All Might is supposed to be like a big dude and last but not least here's uh, comparison with uh, like earlier or a recently released Red Hood um, DC or DC collectibles Red Hood so that's awesome this is like a different version but you know they look we have the same vibe and coolness so uh, I guess that's it for this review um, and by the way if you're new to the channel and if you want to help us out in growing please don't forget to click on that subscribe button below or at least give us a like or share it through social media share it to be like a lot of people so that you know we can grow to at least like about 1000 subs this year hopefully <laughs> so uh again thank you very much for, uh, thank you very much for watching stay safe be kind and you have a great day bye